guys, it's Geraldine Ralph. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I have an early childhood program in my home where I care for up to 14 little ones under the age of five, and I create content to help you run an amazing early childhood program from your home. So today I'm gonna to be taking you on the tour of our classroom. Every month I like to swap out new things and create new opportunities for the children to learn through play. And um, this month we're obviously doing our Christmas setup. So we have a lot of really fun things for the kids. We have a little Sam's workshop and then we have uh, some cute things added to our home corner, corner. So I'm gonna go over that with you. Also, I will be creating another video that I'm gonna link below, and that's gonna just go over what we're gonna be doing for our Christmas party or holiday party um, for our kids. All of the kids in our program currently celebrate Christmas. We have had other children who celebrate um, other holidays around this time. So when we have children who celebrate other holidays, of course, we honor their family traditions. We love to make all of our uh, activities relevant to the interests and the real life experience of the children in our program. So I'm gonna take you around our classroom and show you what everything looks like right now. Um, if you watch our channel, then you know that we also have, um, we, don't, we normally don't have infants, but my sister had a baby. So we do have a couple infants in our program right now. Uh, little baby Luca has been a really fun addition and we set up a certain play space for him and for the other infants because uh, during cold and flu season we want to make sure that our babies are safe and away from the other big kids because obviously they're going to be mouthing toys and things like that there's no controlling that so we want to make sure that they have their own special things that they can um, you know put on for their put in their mouth for their own oral development so I'm going to take you around our classroom right now and show you what we have going on all right so over here we have our infant space we've been using our nuggets in the indoor space for the infants. We have a couple little ones who are learning how to crawl and roll over. We actually have a couple other um, nugget pieces that we put down there so that our babies are safe and then they have a nice little spot where they can crawl around. Um, each of our infants have their own extra saucer. This one's for baby Lenny. And then down here we have um, little containers with toys and things for the infants so that we can keep those nice and clean and sanitized. They have their own little blankets and things um, over here. And then we have Right here is Luca's, Luca's extra saucer. So um, we don't keep the babies in here all the time, obviously. This is just for when they need to have a little bit of tummy time or if we're over here working in the kitchen and we need to put the babies in a safe space where they're not near the other kids while we're cleaning or setting up activities and things like that, we put them over in that area. So over here, we'll go on to our toy shelves. I made this super cute little game for the kids. It's Santa's, it's a feeding Santa cookie game. So there's some little cookies in there for letter recognition. I just laminated this um, picture. I got it off Teachers Pay Teachers and then I put it on this little Ikea thing. It fits perfectly. So we're going to have that out for the kids and then we have this fun little Melissa and Doug puzzle that the kids can play with with Frosty the Snowman. Um, we have these. We have some little felt Christmas trees and some Christmas ornaments. And then over here we have all of these little shelves. So I made these shelves down here with little labels for different um, activities and things. So we can just set them up on the table here for the kids. So let's say we have, you know, we wanna do a craft or something like that. We have all the crafty things right here for the kids. We could just, whoops, there's a little eyeball from Halloween. Um, we could just set the things out here and grab things very quickly because uh, we have a lot of kids and they're very active. It's important to have things that you can set up for them really quickly and easily. And then we have all of these little um, trays here. So if we wanted to set up an activity, for instance, like this is one of the activities that we did earlier this week, we can set out the tray and put all of the materials out here for the kids. And then whenever we want to dry things or move on to the next activity, we could just set it up here. We have some other um, activities that the kids were working on last week. We just set it up here and then we have a nice little spot for things to dry. And then over here, this little don't stop chase game. The kids really love it. It's a lot of fun. It's, you know, basically don't break the ice. Um, we got that last year. So we have all of our art supplies over here. We just grab things and set them up for the kids. And then we'll go over this way. So then over here we have our Christmas town. I picked these little guys up at the dollar bin at Target. So you got these and some little Christmas trees. So I picked those up for the kids. That little snowman over there also came from the Dollar Tree bin. 
at Target. So that's one of our activities. We have some extra train pieces down here for the kids so they can just pull them out and put them on. I'm actually thinking about painting this all white. I just, the most, we use it the most during Christmas time. So I thought it'd be really cute and we can actually take this piece off and then we set up other activities. But for right now, this month, that's how we have our area set up over here. And then those are our baby beds over there. We have our Christmas stories out for the month. And then we have our little changing table for the babies. Each of the babies have their own little spot um, to store their extra supplies. And then over here we have our rocker and it's set up um, for rocking. The kids love our story time. We also take these pillows off. We've been using this big mat here for our circle time area for the kids. So whenever we're doing any sort of movement activity or, you know, circle time, story time, that sort of thing, um, we take all of our pillows and we just set them up like this. And what I found with my kids is that if you have um, pillows set out for the kids, then they have a visual space to keep their body so that they're not like climbing all over each other. Um, we have these little guys over here. So we usually, we have 14 kids in our classroom. So we'll usually set up um, a group activity or group time for the kids. And we'll usually do like six kids over here or seven kids over here. Um, and then over here, we also have the toys that we have out for Christmas. We have a few Christmas stories, this little Christmas tree. So the kids can decorate the tree if they want to. Uh, this Candyland game is a classic. It is <laughs> one of our favorites. I found it like at a thrift store and it like kicks out these little candy pieces and then you have the little shapes there. So it's a little shape sorting game. The kids love this game. We use it every year. And then we have like a little Christmas cookie baking area for the kids and then just some other random toys, books and things like that down there. Color Monsters have been really popular. One of our families donated the Color Monsters. We also have the book. Every day at nap time, the kids like to pick out, um, the ones that don't bring something from home, like to pick out a little Color Monster for nap time. And then we have this Santa Search. I love this one because it's multicultural. So it has uh, my multicultural um, Santas and elves. And then over here, we have a couple more Christmas stories. We have the little jingle bells here. <laughs> Um, and I put them out with a magnet so we could make like little jingle bell, uh, like an instrument. So we use these for our, our group time activities for counting and for, you know, jingle bell songs and things like that for the kids. So that is this area over here. We also like to keep this area open. The reason why we do that is obviously we have our little gross motor toys that are out here for the kids. And then we have games like the floor is lava or other games that we set up here so that we have a large movement space indoors. We find that if we do not have a large movement space indoors, it's all going to go sideways and get too amped up. Um, I'm also going to do another video of our outdoor play space because we've done some really fun additions out there. Look how cute this is, guys. I think I got this at Target last year too. And it just... You can um, match the little snowflake up, so it's a little advent calendar. So this is one of the ways that we work on numbers with our kids, too. Um, they love to have this. Like, during group time, we'll take it out and, and go over numbers with the children. So here, I'll actually do a little backup of the space here for you. Uh, and then over here, look at how cute are those. The kids love these. Over here we have our Santa's Village. Look how cute that is. I picked this up at Target also. And these little guys, can you tell I love Target? Um, we had, I got, I really um, scored these cute little pieces of furniture here. They're nice and sturdy for the kids. Um, I ended up finding those at a resale shop. And then these are just little fuzzy blankets. Um, sometimes I photograph children and they're little pieces that I had for my photography stuff. So I just added that and I thought it made a really cute um, snowy scene for the kids. So, and this is fun too. Like if you turn off the lights, you know, it makes it a little bit more Christmassy, a little bit more magical. I was going to look for some Christmas lights to put up here. Um, something that is battery operated so we don't have to deal with the kids playing with the um, with the cords. And then I'll just take a quick view over here for you guys so you can see. Sometimes we find that when we set up the classroom and we turn off all the lights, it just really like totally changes the energy with the kids and it really helps them if they're having like, 
you know, a day where maybe we can't get outside and play as much as we normally like to, or for whatever reason, they're feeling a little bit emotional. Turning the lights down and having all these little twinkle lights and everything makes it really, really fun for them. Or we'll do like a little dance party, or sometimes we have some little candles that we'll get out for the kids and, you know, we'll just, we'll just make it fun for them. You know, we want them to come and have a fun, happy, safe day at school. That's what I tell them all the time. All right. So I'm going to go over here to our um, housekeeping area. Again, we like to switch up the housekeeping area and add fun new elements for the children based on, you know, things that are relevant. Obviously it's Christmas time and my kids are loving this little Starbucks. We call it Starbucks. We don't actually have anything Starbucks-esque here, which I have a sister who's a barista, so I'm totally going to have to cash in on that. But anyways, we have our little menu here for hot chocolate. We have a little cash register. I printed these up for the kids. You would not believe how popular um, your old credit cards are or, you know, or whatever. This is obviously Costco card, gift card, those sort of things. The kids really love that. They like wearing the hat here and um, it's super, super cute to see them playing over here in the, the little hot chocolate stand. We also had um, some cupcakes and we're talking about, you know, the different roles of the people who work in the coffee shop. We have all these cute little, these little guys, believe it or not, um, Michael's has a lot of like uh, little buntings and I had this one. So I decided to sacrifice it and turn it into some pieces, some little felt pieces for our um, coffee station. I thought these were super cute. And I probably, I'm 100% sure that I got them on clearance because I buy everything on clearance, but there should have been two little pies. But how cute are these? I mean, they're like the perfect size to go into our little coffee shop. So something fun and cute for the kids. And then we have like, we just printed these off. So these are a good way to introduce um, language and print and helping children understand that print has a meaning and creating signs. We have these little cupcakes here, or no, I'm sorry, brownies. So these are just laminated sheets that I made for the kids. And then we were pretending that these were donuts for the kids. So we had some donuts over there. And then um, we just have, you know, some regular baking things. We're going to be doing some gingerbread bread Play-Doh and other fun stuff. If you guys uh, get a chance to go on Amazon and pick up these little flameless candles, let me tell you, these are so much fun for our classroom. Now, we don't let the kids just have run of the classroom with the flameless candles, but they are really cute for adding, like, just that little bit of ambiance to our space and... Um, as I mentioned, when we have all the lights turned off, it's a good way to kind of take the classroom vibe down a little bit if your kids are all keyed up. And then over here, we have our Christmas tree. Now, I don't leave these fake gifts out because obviously the children would destroy them. Um, but we are going to be doing our Christmas uh, photos for families. So I was thinking that we'll pull this out here and then set up a little um, Christmas photo for the kids little photo opportunity for the kids so if you watch to the end of my video i will add one of the photos of my kids just so you can kind of see what we're going to be doing for our christmas okay so we'll just do a quick run around in our classroom so you can see everything and if you have any questions about how our space how we organize our space and you know the way that we set things up i would be very happy to answer those questions for you and here we go